everybody I'm back from Maui and um, I'm here with my jelly plate so we're gonna do some jelly plate uh, things today and I have this that I painted um, I did do some just quick watercolor paintings on my book that I made up this is from this picture here I'm gonna show it to you on my phone so I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So this is of the sunset from our condo. What I did was I painted it just quickly in watercolor. And I thought it might be kind of fun to... Uh, sorry, I'm doing two things at once here. To try it on a jelly plate. So I've got this um, stencil I made up. So I typed this out and then um, this is the stencil and uh, this is the print of it. So I'm going to try doing something and this is just some little little things I cut out. So I'll use this and then I'll put that on there or the other way around. I'll show it to you once we go through it. So this is a um, portrait. portrait style one. And so I'm going to do that one, and I've got a stencil for that right here. And I just, I, I make my own stencils for the most part. I do have a lot that I've bought, but I have started to make a lot of my own stencils. I'm kind of just winging this here. I'm not even exactly sure how this is going to work. All right, let's get started on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix my monitor here because it's uh, sliding. My monitor that is my iPad. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take this um, so I want to take this one and I want it to I want the palm trees to show on the picture on this side so I'm going to put it over here and this is just kind of to mark where the edge is. And I'm just going to put it here. I could put it off of the page a little bit because I think in my picture and actually yeah, in my watercolor here, it goes off the page. Um, and with that, you either want it off the page like that or you want it on the page. You don't want it to be like just a little bit left over. Um, no in between there. Okay, so I'm just going to do a uh, light blue up here and then we're going to start working towards yellow and I'm going to keep in mind the sky um, or the silhouette. So I might just actually just put that in right now. So that would go about here and I think I might, yeah, I'm going to just work that in right now so I kind of know where it's going to go. So I got my black here and I am going to use just pure black because it's a silhouette so that kind of makes sense. I'm just going to so this goes like this. Uh, that should work. Maybe a little bit more. There. Yeah. Okay. Decent amount here of sorry, not totally on the monitor here, and just make this a really uh, definite line. Um, and then the other, what will go here is the water. I just want that to be pretty black. Sure. Problem with um, a sunset picture sometimes is if you're doing blue and then you want it to fade into yellow it'll turn green and the sky doesn't turn green the sky can maybe be a little bit turquoise but generally the sky does not turn green when when it mixes blue and yellow together so you kind of got to watch for that and um, so I just got to make sure to keep that in mind 
Sometimes I kind of forget and I start mixing them and I'm like, oh no, it's going to be green. So it's okay if this is blue, because this is going to be blue anyways. Um, so what I might do is, oh, I don't know. I just don't want lines necessarily. Um, I'm not sure exactly if this, we'll see. I could use my brayer a little bit here. I am going to use my brayer a little bit. Just a little bit here. Because this, this is going to be blue anyway. Right? Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some phthalo up here just to make it a little bit more dark blue. We need to work a little faster than this. Coming up. And we'll move to some light blue here. Um, there's a couple of different orders, like you could do this kind of thing, because there's also the ocean there. So, I mean, I can kind of keep track of where I want my ocean. It's going to be exactly level. Hopefully. <laughs> so let's say my ocean is right there. Um, the thing is, here I want this to be yellow, to go across as yellow. Actually, let's do orange first. Hopefully that'll mix a little better than the blue. So I might just, actually, you know what? Let's just pick this up. Um, I'm just going to put that down there. I'm just going to lift that a little bit because I want that to be kind of yellow. So my yellow starts showing in there. But I don't want it to be um, definite lines. I want them to just look kind of natural. And there. So now I'll just. I'm just going to mix a little bit of orange, but I'm going to clean off my brayer first. Um, no, let's try yellow because I did take some of that blue away. Let's see how this works. Now, I'm hoping that it looks green here, but hopefully on the flip side, it will look mostly blue. There's a little bit of orange peeking through here. And then I'm just going to lift some of this. Because, whoops, I'm going to have to fix that black there. Um, there we go. That's perfect, actually. And I'm just going to do my yellow like this. So that it kind of resembles just some sunset there. Go right across. And um, maybe even a little bit brighter yellow. Um, let's just pick some of this up first. It'll be easier to pick up with this. And then. Wish this in so it's a little bit brighter there. Hopefully it didn't go under there too much. 
we'll see. Let's put a little bit bright yellow here because I can see that. You can kind of see if there's little streaks, brush streaks that show through. So you can use that to put in some color. I can use that to put in some sunset colors here. And I'm just going to get rid of any definite lines here. I don't mind if there's a little bit of yellow in there. And like I said, I'm going to be adding that final color. Okay, so hopefully some of that orange stayed underneath there. And now um, I'm going to do the ocean. Once this dries, then I'm going to do the water. And I'm going to use purple and blue and just kind of see what happens there. So I will come back once this dries. So I did add a little bit of orange to here. I just didn't think that it was showing through enough on the other side. So all I did was lift up some of that yellow while it was still wet and then I just put in some orange. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is the ocean, the water. And um, for that I am going to use my phthalo blue. So I'm just going to put some on there. I think this stuff is already dried. Oh, that's purple. Okay, that's dioxazine purple, so I'll just add some of that. And I do want to keep it, the orange should be dry, but just be careful here. And this could be a little bit iffy because it's with this stencil here. I don't want it to go underneath. I'm just going to lightly go across here. And this is probably farther than I wanted the water, but whatever. So you got to move kind of fast because um, you want it, you don't want any part of it this to dry before you get a chance to really finish working it the way you want it to be worked. Don't have to worry about the black really too much because it is um, dry. And because it's black we can always kind of mess around there a little bit. Just want to make sure that that's down. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of this. Um, I'm just going to actually lift some of this up a little bit. Just to... Um, where's my paper towel? Just gonna make sure that if you do this, you're not dabbing it back into where you don't want it. So all I want to do is just open up some of these blue spots. So I can get some purple in there. And right now there's a pattern on there, but um, that's not going to be a big deal because we're going to go over it. Okay, I'll probably throw that away before it makes a mess somewhere else. Okay, and for the water, just do some kind of wavy things and I'm hoping some of that purple is going to show through a little bit. I don't mind if it's a little bit dark there. Okay, so now I'm going to lift up that a little bit. Um, I'm just going to use this. Because I want to mix in some white for the waves. I'm just going to tap, tap out some white here. We just need a little bit of whatever. And I'm just going to wipe this out. I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm just going to wipe it. And Especially on the edge here, I really want to put 
So you can kind of see, again, where it's, there's not a paint, you can kind of see through to the other side of the jelly plate. Um, so just make sure that you do get something in there. But again, I am going to be covering this in um, a solid color at the end. So remember, it's not going to look like this once we lift this up. But hopefully some of this white will show through. So I always check. I just I'm curious and because I want to know. And actually checking helped me to realize that there wasn't too much orange showing through. So it's okay to check. You just have to know if your paint is too dry already. So if it's dry, there's not really much point in checking because you can't do anything about it. Okay, I'm going to leave that. So let that dry and then I'll be back and we'll finish the last step. So I've lifted my stencil off of, off of there. This is what it looks like. You can see sunset, ocean silhouette there. And for the most part, oops, grab the wrong one here. This is dry. Um, don't try to dry it with the glue, uh, with a heat gun, because that is not good for the jelly plate. Uh, but if you need to, go ahead and um, use a blow dryer if you can make it cold. If you can use like a close, uh, a close shot, cold shot. Wow, I really have problems here. I use this and it's and it's quite cool. So, um, you know, try to go away and forget about it. It doesn't take too long. It's just that this is a little bit thick with the water that I did there. So that's why. Now one thing I noticed is that I did get the paint underneath right here. Um, so you can try to clean that up if you want. Um, the best way to do that, because it's already dry obviously, so the best way to do that is, um, well, we're going to find out what the best way to do it is because I'm going to try it. And I don't know if I've ever done this before. So um, I just, I wet this brush and then I kind of squeeze some stuff out. So I'm just wondering if I can pick that up because just, I mean, honestly, it might look kind of cool with a little bit yellow there. So I don't mind leaving some of it, but I definitely want this to be a silhouette because that's kind of the whole look of it. So you don't want this soaking wet because you don't want it to go. You don't want water to go where you don't want it to go. And I'm just going to make sure this, the trunk of the palm tree is clear for the most part. Um, and maybe a little bit right there I'll do. So I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't even know if this is actually, I'll just do it right here. Yeah, it's not coming. That's okay. I got this one and that was the biggest one that I wanted to get. Okay. So now you're going to take this stencil, the I don't know, is this the negative? This is the positive image, right? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can... Now, this part here, um, I see that I got a little bit... I got some in there. You know what? I'm going to clean that up, too. I don't know if I can find my brush that I was using that I just had in my hand. Here it is. So I'm going to clean this up, too. So if you're careful, hopefully this won't happen. Um, but I did get a little bit of paint under there, which I don't want. just want to open up this a little bit. And then just do a little bit on this leaf too. Just right here. If this was wet, I could put tissue paper down or um, paper 
and pick it up. But it's not wet, so I can't do that. There. And honestly, like with this kind of thing, it's kind of cool to have some of it kind of overlapping into the blue a little bit anyway. I think. All right. And this black is already there, so that's fine. So all I have to do now is just take my black. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to go right in here. This is black, right? <laughs> Sorry, all of a sudden there, it just kind of looked purple in the light. You would think I would know the difference between purple and black, wouldn't you? Okay, so I'm just going to be super careful because I don't want it to go underneath there. So until it's kind of, the, when you go over it, it kind of helps it to stick, but you just kind of, you, you go over it lightly first and then it's kind of on there pretty good and then you can kind of be a little bit more ag aggressive with it I guess. Okay. So now I'm going to add some more here. Don't use too much because if you have too much it goes underneath the stencil. And all you're trying to do is cover up all these spots now this is yellow there, so that will lift up yellow. The black won't show on, on the other side, but um, cover it anyways, because some of it might show through. So try to get rid of all the color that you see if you can. You gotta be careful, don't start lifting up color that you don't want to lift up. Which you shouldn't do because this is the only layer that's down. There isn't another there isn't another layer be below this, so it should be fine. And I just want to make sure that it's quite dark uh, because it is a silhouette. So I'm just gonna put in another quick layer on this. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh! I hope that didn't do anything bad. It lifted up there really bad. Oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it. Starting to do bad things. Where's my sheet here? Okay, and then we're going to let this dry. And once that's dry, then I will uh, do that last layer. You can just take that right off. So, don't worry, this looks like that, but underneath, hopefully it has this other stuff here. Okay, so don't panic yet. We can panic, but just not yet. There's a time and a place to panic. And that's when you lift up, and it didn't work at all like what you wanted. And that's when you panic and try to figure out if you can fix it or not and if you can't fix it then you just say oh well let's try again so um, those are my best tips I can give you for jelly plate printing um, and those are really the only tips I think okay so I'm just gonna let this dry I won't bore you with more advice I think this is dry now I will say that you can um, once you've done all those steps, instead of using this stencil, we could have gone over it with the black and it would have just gone in here. But um, because I want to keep this, I want to make sure it doesn't get too dark. And I think some black will show through there and I'd rather have white show through. Then I didn't want to do that. But that's another thing you could do. But then you would have some black showing through. You can see it's a little bit transparent there. So that would show black. Um, and I'd rather it show white. So it, this looks a little bit shiny still. 
but I think it's dry enough. Yeah, I think so. I don't really like using my uh, blow dryer on it because it just, I don't know, um, it makes me feel like I'm just putting the paint more into the jelly plate and I want to be able to lift it so I feel like it makes it harder to lift but I have no reason to think that. So just like you can experiment for yourself. Um, so have, have your cardstock ready or whatever you want to put this on. I want to put it on a good thick cardstock so that's what this is. It's um, the other stuff that I was like this that I lift with is either tissue paper, newsprint, or just copy paper. Um, and then we're going to do this. Hopefully that's a good amount. You don't want too much and you don't want too little. And just make sure you get it on corners. Try to get it as even as possible. It's starting to lift there, so I don't know. Um, no, nope, we're gonna leave that. Okay. Don't want to wait too long here, and then just put it down. So I just go over with my brayer. Um, a lot of people just use their hands, but I really want to get it in there. And I just kind of go along the edge here. And you want to give this a little bit of time to settle in because you want the wet paint to pick up all the layers of the dry paint underneath there. And when it doesn't, it means that you haven't got a good pull. Um, but most times, you know, if you're just experimenting, then it can be fun to just kind of fool around and just see what you get. And you can always use it for collage. And so I do a lot of that too. Um, but again, these ones, and the other, the other video I did are for ones that, you know, they have a purpose more than just a collage. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to put my lids back on here before I forget, and they all dry out. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. That looks good. That looks iffy. That looks good. And that looks good. All right, people, we're gonna do it. Oh, I love this moment, but I hate this moment. Mm. You can see a little bit isn't picking up. Let's try to close it. Oh, this, um, sunrise my yellow and orange is not picking up like I would like it to and some of the blue didn't but that's jelly jelly plate for you and you could just do that for clouds if you want to fill that in so you can see um, here's where some of the um, white showed through because I didn't get the black in there and then here is where I was trying to get rid of some of that and I did over here but I missed this over here but that's honestly that's okay um, so this kind of turned out actually pretty good jelly printing is not going to be you're not looking to get it perfect um, so let me just if you want to know how to just make this a little better all you would do is just take your yellow, in this case, I don't know what yours would turn out like. Um, you might not need to do anything, but I'm just going to fill in a little bit of this here. So that's pretty green in there, uh, because that's what we had, that's what was showing through. Just so another thing that I could have done was have blue as my last color and that would have helped to cover this and to cover that um, but I was hoping that not as much white would show through and that it would just be kind of a little bit more 
not, not as much not as much white okay so let's leave that and I'm going to just do a little bit more with the blue and this is just a very simple you're just kind of making little swishing this is this is jelly plate you're not you're not painting a masterpiece here of the ocean and then that white just kind of looks like the wave so that works if you want to you can take black and just I'm not even gonna clean off my brush here partly because I'm lazy and partly because it just adds to the effect just going to fill that in a little bit more make it so now we're just kind of painting and if you want you can fill that in but honestly I kind of like the look of it and it just adds to the texture so I'm just going to leave that and you know like here I could just take this and just kind of whoops something speaking of knocking knocking things over and fumbling around I had a comment on my um DIY alcohol inks. <laughs> someone commented how how I don't know. Someone they they said something about 27 minutes of watching me fumble around and knock things over. And I just thought it was funny cuz so I was like, "Oh, I wonder if I was knocking things around, fumbling around." I it gave me a, a little laugh. I mean, that's what you got to expect on social media, so whatever. Anyways, so here we go. This is that one. And then I will be back and we'll do the other one. And um, we'll do the this one. Now that we've learned a few things, I will... Um, this one I, I feel like will be easier. We'll see. Maybe not.